Alright, I'm Stephanie from Rosa Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns LLC. Welcome to our channel. We have our November fiber with us. This is the fiber from the Spinner Surprise Box and that is available at RazzleDazzleRabbitry.com so if you want this fiber and to spin along with us that's where you go and the fiber gets shipped to you. It is $29.99 for the fiber that includes shipping. So some of this yarn was gifted to me by a friend. Um, this is alpaca. This is alpaca. We have a little bit of hand dyed long locks in here. We have some hand dyed roving and then we have um, commercial dyed roving. So the roving is sheep and the long locks are sheep. This is alpaca. So this is a sheep and alpaca blend. So we really have an entire variety of fiber here. Um, this, as you can see, this is pretty wispy, but this fiber, this roving is pretty stuck together, this roving. So this is something that um, it's going to take a little bit of a little bit more effort to pull this apart than it is to load this. And then we only have a tiny bit of this, which we're going to add in pops here and there. We want to spin just really colorful, um, really col colorful, consistent single. Some of this does have a little bit of vegetable matter in it. That's okay. We can easily pick that out. And so let's get started. This is going to be, again, for November, just a whole variety of different colors, a whole variety of different things, different yarns. We have our Howard hand carters with us. These are the 190 teeth per inch hand carters. So when I think of this, I think of fall. I think of these colors. This is really like a fall, uh, autumn, November, really like a Thanksgiving type of color that we have going on. So if there's any vegetable matter, we do just pick it out. We're going to add some of these long locks on right away. And this is just going to be a fun yarn. There's going to be pretty much no set way that we load these carters. That's going to be super fun. So the Rolex will be this, they'll be that. The colors will just really be all over the place. We have a little bit more of the alpaca roving. And this is not dyed. This color alpaca roving is not dyed. This brown is not dyed. It's natural colors. So it's a mix. It's a blend of different fibers, blend of different um, methods of coloring. I really like the long locks, how there's the orange, there's a brown, there's a dark green, there's a blend of all of the colors. Very pretty. So if you notice, we didn't weigh this out into single ounces. I didn't start out with three single ounce piles. When we're doing this, what we're going to do is we're just going to make the roll eggs, put it all in a big pile, and after all the roll eggs are made, we are going to weigh them, and um, that's when we're going to weigh them out into an ounce each because we're going to spin an ounce of fiber each. We don't want to have um, we don't want to have like one of our bobbins be one and a half ounces, another be a half ounce, and another be one ounce. We want the actual, when we go to spin the yarn, we do want there to be consistency in the weight of the ounce that we spin. So maybe the colors aren't consistent and the types of wool that are there, that maybe that's not consistent, but we want each of the singles to weigh an ounce because when we if we were to go and if we were to ply it together into a three ply, each of those ounces would be one ounce. So three single ounces in one. Ply together and mix a three ply yarn. Now I really like this blend, so we're just going to keep doing this. So as I'm hand, hand curting it, I pick up any vegetable matter and I take Otherwise, when I'm hand carting, the vegetable matter comes out a lot of it. And when I'm spinning, more of it will come out. And as you continue on the process, just more and more and more comes out. 
However, my preference, um, working with roving with this much vegetable matter in it is not necessarily my preference. However, it's just really a great, 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 soft, wonderful alpaca fiber. So when you have such a great fiber like that, you, you just deal with the little bits of vegetable matter that might be present and move on. And it's not a big deal. Because really, we don't need to be too picky. We can be, but we're not going to be. That would be silly. Keep loading this hand carter. Normally too, when I hand card, if you've watched the previous hand carding videos, you know we typically focus on hand carding for production. So for professional business owners, uh, fiber artists, professional fiber artists, professionals in this community, we like to see uh, on this in this group 10 minutes to hand card an ounce. That's around where we like to be because when you're making something, of course, you have to pay attention to how much time you put into it. And if you're making something for profit, that is. But if you're making something for fun, then you just, you know, time is not as much of a priority. But when you have a business, there's only so much time in the day. And so there's only so much time that you can turn your efforts into profitable efforts, which is something we talk about a lot in the members only videos on our channel. And that's the best bonus bunny members only videos. That's really much more behind the scenes, really explains a lot of the stuff going on, shows a lot of the different things. There's also um, videos that I might not normally have um, taken and posted publicly, but they're available for those members only. There's also there's a couple other levels of membership too. But if that's something you're interested in, I won't go in depth in this video. There are other videos on the channel in that section that explain it. Okay, next. We only have a little bit of this left. I think what we're going to do is we're going to use it up. And I think we're, we're going to use it up with the other green. I think we're going to kind of keep to this green thing. That's what I just feel like doing. No idea. No idea if, if my mood will change and I'll do something different. So this is the stuff that was kind of the sticky roving. And sticky roving, you guys know, there's a video that I talk about how to fix sticky roving using a drum carter. But in this instance, we have our hand carters. That's what we've been using, um, mainly because hand carters are much less expensive than a drum carter. And these are much, much more portable. You really can take your hand carders anywhere. You can be carding all over the place, hand carding fiber. You can hand card in your car. If someone else is driving, you can hand card just wherever. So what does this look like? Looks, looks about like that. From this side, it's super fluffy. That's what we like. And we just keep going. We keep carving it out. So, if you're, again, if you're interested in this fiber, I would say go over to razzledazzlerabbitry.com, take a look. And we also have free patterns. There's some, quite a few free hat patterns that are available. It's getting cooler. Now's about the time when you start thinking about your winter hat collection. Or maybe there's somebody you know who you just want to make a hat for. There's a lot of patterns available on the site. So thank you guys for watching. We will continue this video in a members only video. And for those of you who like our videos, feel free to subscribe to the channel because we do release videos here and there. And that way when you click the bell after you subscribe, you get notified when we've released a new video. So thank you very much.